Yugi2988. He started his YouTube channel in 2006, and in all honesty, I have some kind of affinity for the man. He's a soft-spoken, kind individual that's gone through a lot in his life, including abuse in his family, decline in his mental health, a lot of abuse from being a, a big guy, and when I came across his content, I was able to relate on that on some level. Not on all, but on some level. Boogie got known for his funny videos as Francis, which is his alter ego, in which he rages about things, computer games, nerdy content, trashing stuff, throwing computer consoles, and his subscriber count peaked at 4 million subscribers. Francis being one of his, his main characters, even got to a point where he was being mimicked and... and, and memed by things like South Park. The idea of YouTube in the early life of YouTube was that it was all just memes and weird videos and kids flailing around with lightsabers and Charlie biting your finger and here was a big man that could either flop in water or go on gamer rants and trash stuff. He was a big gaming fan, he collected a load of things and he even collected an award in 2016 as Trending Gamer, reflecting his high influence at the time within that space. Now, Boogie over time has gone through a lot of life changes, including at one point being five, 600 pounds and losing that weight. He has struggled, he has failed, he's picked himself up and tried again, over and over again, this leading to some hate and some love from his audience. Once again, I understand from my own personal battles how hard it is to be a big lad, although I'm not as big as Boogie was. Now, the problem with Boogie is that as he became more famous, he became a little bit more transparent, which you think would be fantastic, but this led to him spewing his mental health onto the YouTube platform to his own detriment. He was criticised about the way he was dealing with people, the way he was dealing with his weight loss, the way he dealt with his own divorce with his wife in 2018. He's going out of his way to be so transparent that he's, he was talking about deleting himself in his YouTube videos, he was talking about the, the family abuse that he used to have, mental health in general, going on rants, going on attacks, in which if you're bipolar or if you're struggling with mental health, some of these you can't really help, especially if you make your money through this platform. So in some cases he sat down and with an open heart he decided to sit down, hit record and share his thoughts. Maybe it weren't wise at the time if he was feeling a bit mad. Over time to get views, Boogie shifted his content away from gaming and more towards drama because drama has an emotive response and people will click on it and people will jump in and gain more attention. This led to continued criticism from his audience. People accusing him of manipulating his audience, taking them on some kind of mental health trip with him, his excessive negativity, pulling things down, which I understand if, you, if you're going through a depressive spiral, it can be hard. And this leading to even more oversharing, which then just doubles down on the fact this leading to the arc of his channel from growth to decline, in which then it's a spiral of depressing statistics in which he sees his channel declining and then him trying to do everything he can to reverse the trend. In 2020, after being bullied online and being threatened by an online creator, he took out a gun and shot gunshots in public. Basically, an idiot came to his door, threatening him, boogie in a manic panic warned him that he was going to fire a warning shot and did so in a residential area. This once again sparked memes, this once again sparked attention that he doesn't necessarily require. All of this is the ongoing effects of, I honestly believe, ongoing depression. I can, I can see personally how the loss of a partner, the loss of a, a, a lifeline when it comes to the, the channel and the decline of his influence, I can see how that can cause problems. I rely on this YouTube channel to run my life, whether it's through consultancy, whether it's through affiliate marketing, whether it happens to just through, be through my brand. So imagine that if you found your own independence through finally starting a YouTube channel, you've been abused all your life from your mother, in which then you finally gain independence, in which then you just being honest on your own YouTube channel is now causing people to hate you some more. Boogie recently agreed to do a boxing match with Wings of Redemption. This was part of Killer Keemstar's pre-show to a KSI 
boxing card. This shows how he went out of his way to actively try and train, but unfortunately he lost in the boxing match. And I hope that this isn't the start of another downward spiral. I personally see a lot of Steve's struggles in myself over time, and I've learned a lot from him. This just goes to show the impact that YouTube can have on a person's career, income, and mental health. If you want to see more downfall stories, check out this playlist here.